In a presentation on July 17th, ALDOT and its director John Cooper laid out their plans for increasing travel options for drivers who want to cross Mobile Bay. They want to build a new bridge across the Mobile River that would help ease traffic through the Wallace and Banquette tunnels. Along with that, the agency wants to build a new six-lane bayway across Mobile Bay to the eastern shore. It would take the place of the current bayway. The total cost, $2.1 billion. In a briefing to protesters at that same meeting, Cooper stated the reason why the project is needed. We failed to rebuild and expand that quarter. I believe we would cast this area into gridlock. To pay for it, ALDOT is proposing a toll, $6 each way. But ALDOT is also proposing a $90 per month pass people could buy that would be good for 40 trips across the bay and bridge per month. Cooper says the fee would lower the price of tolls for local drivers, but there remains opposition to the plan. All right, so here we are trying to say, whoa, let's, let's stop this for a little bit and think about what we can do to find alternative funding. And that doesn't seem to be on the agenda. Dr. Lou Campo Minosi of the Common Sense Campaign is one of the voices pushing back at the tolls with a radio campaign. On social media, State Auditor Jim Ziegler has gathered tens of thousands who are voicing their opposition. ALDOT is on the record saying if there are no tolls, there will be no bridge. And those against it say pulling back to study the impact is also needed. I, I'm still requesting an economic study on the toll cost for small business in Mobile and Baldwin County and lower and middle class families. So far, there's been no word on whether or not ALDOT will conduct such a study and they've shown no sign of pulling back from the proposed toll rate, even though the agency says it's not yet a done deal. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.